Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a quick energy reading for you. We're going to get the surrounding energies for you. Let's see what's going on for you in Cancer's environment. What is, what is the surrounding energy for Cancer? What's the surrounding energy for Cancer, Lord God? If you need to get in contact with me, all links are below. Thank you for those to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Cancer, your cards don't want to talk. What's the situation for cancer? Okay. The world. All right. So something's coming, come to full completion, success, fulfillment. You're at the end of this chapter. You're growing. There's maturation here. Um, growth here. Once again, could be dealing with a fixed sign. Or all of those planets that were in the fixed sign Aquarius, they could be affecting you right now. Could be dealing with uh, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. You understand that it's over, whatever it may be, and that you have to make something over, okay? Um, you can't rest in the old way or the old energy because it's already completed. You've got to move and move on or move into or move on to something new. Let's see. What's the advice? Oh, oh, very nice advice. Ace of Pentacles. And so this is going to be an opportunity for you to have a to start a firm foundation to build upon something. The seed is planted here. It's up to you to take the opportunity and water it. Um, or you're you're being given the seed, but now you have to plant it here, and definitely you'll have to water it. Um, you can grow something. Some of you, this will be a new sexual relationship opportunity. Um, something in its full in its manifestation phase here. Um, this is the opportunity to have something solid and stable. What is the outcome if Cancer takes the advice of the cards? What's the outcome? Wow, the Ace of Cups. So you get in something solid and stable. And then you're getting something that fulfills you emotionally. It looks like you're going to fight, do battle for what you want. You're ready to compete. It might even be a, com a competition of wills or competing goals. Or there's someone who won't get on board or on your level or on your program, on your train. You're, you're trying to um, maneuver them the battle of wits or will this is will this could be a love affair where there is drama there is there was or there was childishness there were a lot of petty arguments um and they had no end to them it was it was open ended you guys just kept going or and it ended because somebody just stopped but there was no resolution. There's no mediation here. It could be that you're wishing for someone to come back. The nine of cups here. You found emotional satisfaction with having. Having something that you feel you are without right now. Something that you're separated from. You're not with. So you're wishing for it to come back into your existence. Into manifestation of. You want the opportunity to start over, to start again, to start anew or to renew. Um, there's been a lot of tears spent here in this connection um, about yourself, your self-esteem and rebuilding yourself, um, your identity, self-identity to, to the world also. I don't know what this is about. Some of you could be recounting or recanting, yeah, recounting, you know, sex and all this fun type emotional energy with a particular individual. Oh, the good times. The Cups talks about good times, good food, good people, good drink, good smoke. Just, you know, the good times here. You could be recounting that. Let's get some advice for cancer. What's the advice? Oh, we got advice. Well, let's get closing advice. Closing advice for cancer. 
weigh, weigh the pros and cons of this. Make sure you have a plan of action before you just move and embark on something. There's a lot going on right, right here, right now. It's a lot that you need to learn or a lot that you don't know. Um, you need to stay in constant motion here so that you don't fall into inaction and not moving. You need to prove yourself by way of doing something every single day and making something habitual for you. I don't know if this is work or is work related or your work ethic or if it's proven to someone that you have changed or there is change or someone has to prove that to you. The Three of Swords, ooh, and the Moon card. That's your advice here. Um, you do know that in this breakdown of communication and this fight of wills, um, there are a lot of unexpressed, suppressed emotions. There, are, there could be two or more people lying to themselves about how they feel. This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, there's someone you're not speaking to. Uh, there hasn't been a clearing of the air. It's just been division in terms of how you feel and what your mind is telling you in terms of the relationship, in terms of what you guys have been creating. You couldn't get past the creation phase here. It seems like it was always a, the go around and you never could get to a solid, stable connection. It always was in or there's a stop and a start or an end here if you want to redo something with someone or you want to let go of someone you need to tell them um, or if you want to marry someone you need to tell them if you have having futuristic thoughts of being with someone you're trying to make plans now for what your future will look like with that person you need to communicate it to that person if you hold on to that entirely um, it leaves another person at a place of assumption they may assume that you don't want to be with them that they're not the one um, that you're creating and enterprising thinking far far-reaching thoughts far-fetching plans for yourself and not for the connection and not for the two of you so you might need to speak to somebody Cancer, I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Oh, follow me on TikTok. It's at L Tarot. And I'm going to do some readings there. Also, follow me on Instagram. Um, the handle is below. Every Friday, I will take some Instagram phone calls uh, from my followers and um, pull some cards for you, okay? So if you want a reading with me, go on over to Instagram. Thank you. Take care. Bye, guys.